All right, a day later, we're ready for part two of the Display Network Setup video series. So we've given the ad group a name, and I've decided to create an ad for uh, G-Form's uh, iPhone protector, this new product. I can't even remember what it's called yet. It just uh, came out a couple days ago. Um, and they have a video of um, one of their employees on the, the ice at a hockey rink taking slap shots with the iPhone into the net. So I've called it armor for your iPhone 4 slash S. I would have done 4 slash 4S, except I didn't have enough characters. Um, I suppose I could do iPhone 4 4GS armor, but we'll leave it alone for now. I'm sure you can improve this ad any number of ways. So is your iPhone case this tough? Watch the crazy slap shot video, and then I just created a uh, fake display URL, and right now the video is only available on their homepage, so I just sent people there. You obviously would set up your very own landing page. So a couple of points about this. One is that I'm trying to create curiosity by asking the question, is your case this tough, by calling it armor, and by talking about a crazy slap shot video. I would have done controversial slap shot video. I didn't have enough space for that. So I thought crazy was better than famous because it's not famous. So I really wanted to get people curious, like, like an itch. Like they're reading something else, they're on somebody else's blog, they're watching a video of something else, and this just goes, oh, I just really want to take a look at that. The second thing is that it's not asking them to buy anything. It's not asking them to commit to anything. It's saying, hey, just check out this video snack. Um, as uh, Jeff or Ali uh, of uh, VidSense puts it, a little snack. Just check this out. So both of those make it a good um, display network ad. And now it's time to think of keywords. So we're going to go down here and choose keywords. They already have keywords based on the website, which um, is mostly about bicycle stuff. So it's not uh, very effective for us. So we're going to go to the keyword tool here. And I have here iPhone case, iPhone protection. We don't want a lot of keywords. We just want basically four or five or 10 or 15. They're going to make it very clear to Google what this is about. So let's do our search now. Okay, and we don't care about the amount of searches. We can see, though, that case is much bigger than protection. So I would probably choose, like, iPhone case, best iPhone cases. Um, I don't think it's waterproof. It certainly is a bumper case. Um, it's not battery. Yeah, really, that's that's kind of enough. And I would just throw in iPhone protection as well. That really is all you need to do. And I'm sure you could come up with a few more, uh, but not necessary. So we're just going to think of those right now. iPhone protection, iPhone case, best iPhone case. You know what? I would add 4S. So let's throw those in there. What do we get? iPhone protection, iPhone for protection, iPhone 4S protection, and then we're going to copy these and paste them again and replace it with case. And let's just throw in best iPhone 4 case and iPhone 4 bumper case. And that's basically all you need. You know, Google's smart enough to look at this list and say, okay, I think we understand. So we're not going to select managed placements yet. We're just going to let Google choose sites based on that. So we said our, uh, our bid here is going to be 50 cents if the search network was a dollar. If you don't know what it is, um, then just pick something and you're either going to be too high or too low and then you just adjust. So now we're going to save the ad group. Uh-oh. Oh, I put in a comma. See, I've been in South Africa too long. Let's try that. Okay, so now we have uh, a good keyword list. You notice everything is broad match, nothing fancy, no misspellings, just saying, you know, as if you were to tell a reasonably intelligent friend, this is where I want you to go. So now Google is going to go out 
and start finding websites has indexed as being about these keywords.